Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for oh, April 8th through the 14th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see for the week ahead. We're going to try to do this a little bit quick, quicker than usual. What do we got for Taurus? There's a, there's a lack of ability to restrain yourself, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe some fear here. Yeah. There may be some fear. Two of Wands reverse. Fear of crossing over that border, right? Crossing over that edge. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself. You are. You're trying to protect yourself from something. Ah, Four of Cups. You may be trying to protect yourself from uh, getting hurt in love. I feel like you're receiving an offer of love. I feel like you're receiving some sort of love or something like that. And you may be fearful of it. You may not be able to resist it. You may not be able to resist it. Two of Wands reverse. This is afraid to start. Afraid to take that leap of faith. Take, take step over the edge. To go down that new road. So I feel like there's definitely fear of change or indecisive. I think that you may be restricting yourself a little bit here. Oh, change in direction. Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Five of Swords. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Hey, man, on the bottom of the deck. Because we like that, don't we? Like being stuck, don't we? But this, this is, this is actually good. In the reverse, this is stop sacrificing yourself, stop wasting yourself, stop wasting your time getting unstuck. So I feel like you guys are probably going to be severing some ties. This is the overall, you know, this is where you're at, severing ties. I feel as though we have somebody that is taking action. Somebody could be heading in your direction with some uh, exciting offer. Um, but the Seven of Swords, this is deception. This is... And the Eight of Swords, this is, this is trapped, mental turmoil, trapped, stuck, afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. But the Eight of Cups, I mean, walking away. You may be making a decision to take action and walk away from somebody who... isn't reciprocating. Maybe this person has been keeping you stuck and you decide, you know, I'm cheating myself. I'm cheating myself. You may just, you may wake up. You may, you may start to see a situation clearly in which, you know, it's time to sever ties with whoever. I feel like this is severing ties. I feel like you are going to probably sever ties with somebody that's keeping you stuck. You're probably going to end up walking away because they're not giving you anything. You've been letting, you've been keeping yourself restricted by focusing on this person. It's like now you go through this awakening, you wake up, you start to see the situation clearly, you start to see below, I mean above the surface, it's like you start to see the whole situation clearly. And therefore, it's like now now there's a shift, now there's a change, there's a change in direction. So I really feel like you guys have This is give up. I really feel like you guys are deciding to give up on a connection here. It's like you're ready to take action. You're ready to fly. It's ready. You're ready, and it could be a very quick decision. You know, I'm ready to go. I'm not going to be trapped in this lie. It's time for me to sever the ties and move on. So you guys may be moving on from something that didn't have any follow through. You know, there was no follow through. There's no nothing solid about it. It's a loss. It is a loss. 
So I feel like you guys are probably deciding that there's nothing tangible here. There's nothing to hold on to here. And I'm looking for something to hold on to. I want stability. I want something solid. I think that you guys are giving up on something that there's no abundance there. There's nothing solid. And I feel like, you know, that's what's happening here. I feel like you guys are probably... It's almost like taking fate in your own hands and, and changing your direction. You're not going to lie to yourself. You're not going to deceive yourself. You're, cha you're taking action, Taurus. I feel like you're taking action because you've restricted yourself for too long. I think that you know. I think that you have been, been divinely guided. That's you. That's you. I think that your inner guide, your, your divine guidance, your intuition has said, you know what? It's time. It's time for you to go your own way. It's time for you to believe in yourself. It's time for you to stop blocking, you know, a future commitment. It's time for you to, to uh, go your own way, you know. Listen. Start listening to yourself. I think that we have somebody here that is deciding to say, hey, we see, see, his, see his hand, he's like, hey, no more. All of a sudden you get this awakening. It's like, no more, no more. I want commitment. I want commitment. No commitment, goodbye. I feel like you guys are going to recognize that it's time for you to hold your head up high and move on from a situation. I think that you're going to find your confidence and you're going to find your courage and you're going to you're going to you're going to trot on out of a situation. That's the way I feel. I feel like you guys are going to find that newfound passion within yourself to hold your head up high and basically demand respect. And I think that you will be more respected and recognized for following your own path, for listening, for doing what's right for you. So I really feel like you guys are moving in a new direction. You are. And I think that what has happened here is you're just like seeing the light. There's like this epiphany, some sort of truth. You get this revelation, this, this epiphany that, you know what, this ain't no commitment. This is boring. I'm not getting what I need. I, come on now. It's time for me to sever these ties and head in a new direction because I know who I am. So I feel like you. there's a change coming. I feel like you guys are deciding that you're not going to hold on to something that is less than you deserve, okay? It's like you deserve the gold. You don't deserve the base metal, right? You, you, you know that you deserve the golden opportunity. You know, okay? So I feel like you guys are basically taking the power in your own hands. It's like I see a big shift here, big, big change in direction, big time. I feel like you decide that it's just this time. It's, it's time to evolve. It's time to change. It's time to bring blessings into my life. And holding on to this situation that is going nowhere is getting me nowhere. So I really feel like this second week you are going to do whatever you need to do to bring balance and harmony and healing back to your life. You're going to realize that everything happens for a purpose. And I feel like you're probably going to... Um, I think you're probably going to sever ties with something that's been holding you back from getting exactly what you are meant to have. You know what I mean? I do. I feel like you guys are realizing what you're worth. You're coming right into your own power. I mean, this is you, right? It really is. I think that you're letting go of a situation that has made you bitter, it's made you angry, it's made you resentful. And I feel like you're at that point where you are ready for a blessing. You are, this is a blessing and this is a blessing. It's like you're ready, I'm ready for my blessings and I will accept nothing less than what I deserve at this point. So I feel like you guys are, are making a, probably a, a harsh, hasty decision to evolve, to uh, accept change, to
allow growth into your life. I feel as though we have the we're, we're at the very beginning here. This is the beginning of a new life. This is the birth of a new life. So you guys are about to go through a serious change in direction. This, that is the beginning of a new life for you. It's like the world is in your hands, right? I see a lot of blossoming abundance coming into your life. A lot of beauty. Radiating beauty. So I really feel as though you just, you get this epiphany that, you know what? I'm not going to settle for less than I deserve. The Empress doesn't settle. She doesn't chase. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to cultivate kindness, passion, and love. And I know it's going to come to me all in good time, at the right time, when I have healed completely. So I feel like we have a change in direction in which you, you just, it's like a sudden thing too. It's like a sudden epiphany that, you know what, I'm worth more than this. It's like you find your strength. I think you lost your strength. You lost your self-esteem. You lost your self-worth for a minute. You may have done something. I don't know what. Something. Some, something stupid. And now it's just like, you know what? No. That's not who I am. This realization that that's not who I am. I'm a beautiful soul and I know it. So I really feel as though you're going to get this newfound um, self-love. I mean, that's what this is. I think that you're going to be absolutely glowing this week, by the way. I feel like people are going to see your beauty. It's Everybody's going to see it. It's going to be radiating. You're going to be glowing. Okay? I feel as though... You're going through a major transition in your life and everybody can see it. I feel like you're going to make a, a harsh decision to cut somebody out of your life that is not fulfilling you. They're not reciprocating. They're not, uh, they're not listening to their inner guide. They, they're not uh, following through. They're keeping you stuck. And I feel like you're just going to sever those ties. I think that you're going to walk away. You're just going to be like, Pfft. Take your ego and leave it. You know, this is ego. The Five of Swords is ruled by ego. And it's severing ties with the ego. I just feel as though you are not going to cheat yourself. It's like, you know that. This is a lost a cause. It's a lost cause with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. I think that you, you're going to come to this realization that you're worth more than that. So I'm not going to keep going. You guys are going to have some sort of epiphany. You're going to sever ties. That's what I got. It's like, there's a, it's a time of, of transition. It's a, it, you know, I, I want peace. I want harmony. I want peace. I want harmony. I want happiness. And I can find that within myself. So I feel like you guys are going to see it's, it's like a wake up call. It's like a wake up call. Boom. Like that kind of thing. I don't even need the towel. It's like a, poof. Wow. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Why was I even going there? Take off your masks. Phoenix rising. Absolutely. Phoenix rising from the ashes. You're about to rise up to be your very best you. Again, it is Uranus and Taurus, right? It's only getting better and better and better, is it not? It's like it's all about me right now. And I think you're going to cut out somebody in your life that doesn't want commitment. Well, that's where we're at. So let's, let's take off mask. Eleven. Stop trying to appear different to who you really are. It's time to take off your mask and be the real you. 
You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others even if doing this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. And that's, that's what this shift is. I, have, I see a change in direction because you start to realize that your purpose is so much more than this. It's crazy. Anyway, you have an incredible talent. Believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them. And that's what I mean. You guys are going to get this epiphany that, you know, I, don't, I, I know what I'm worth. I, I know who I am. And if you don't like me, somebody else is going to. All in, in, on, in God's time, in divine timing, I will wait. I will be patient. In the meantime, I will go through my rebirth. I will nurture myself. I will create myself. And it will come. It's like this inner knowing. I'm not going to read Phoenix, Phoenix Rising. We all know what it is. It's you coming out of this darkness like that. So Taurus, that's what I have for the second week. I see a major change in direction. It's like overnight, like, Phew! don't need that. Goodbye.